Welcome to the first of our principles represented by the letter R in RISE. The R refers to responsible government. But what makes government responsible? Does the rule of law restrain men or government? The Bible says in 1 Peter 2 verses 13 through 14, Submit yourself for the Lord's sake to every authority instituted among men, whether to the king as the supreme authority or to governors, who are sent by him to punish those who do wrong and to commend those who do right. For it is God's will that by doing good, you should silence the ignorant talk of foolish men. Romans 13, 1 through 5 echoes the same sentiment. In verse 4, the apostle Paul writes, For he, the government official, is God's servant to do you good. But if you do wrong, be afraid, for he does not bear the sword for nothing. He is God's servant, an agent of wrath to bring punishment on the wrongdoer. However, the Founding Fathers looked beyond those who would administer the law and justice to a document that would restrain the restrainers. Patrick Henry would say that the Constitution is not an instrument for the government to restrain the people, it is an instrument for the people to restrain the government, lest it come to dominate our lives and interests. Thus, responsible government must work both ways to ensure justice. The overreach of government brings tyranny while the lack of sound laws invites anarchy. So responsible government, under the RISE principles, argues the following. Citizens deserve a government which is fiscally responsible. The waste, fraud, and duplication in government must be eliminated. All monetary transactions, except for classified operations, should be transparent. Public debt, except for infrastructure, should be avoided. Government budgets should fit within existing revenues. Spending reductions, not tax increases, are the preferred solutions to revenue shortfalls. Taxation should be restricted to the most minimal levels, and the burden of taxation should be spread as equally as possible among U.S. citizens. Taxation should never be employed for the purpose of redistributing wealth or restricting productivity, economic growth, or savings. Government policy should encourage self-sufficiency and promote the work ethic among citizens. Public funds should not be used to support persons who are capable, albeit unwilling, to provide for their own needs. Government welfare programs for the needy should strive to enforce the dignity of the individual and strengthen the family unit and encourage the individual's potential for self-sufficiency. Government policy should be constrained by the rule of law embodied in the Constitution, which innovatively guarantees our liberties by spreading power among the three branches of the federal government and between the federal government and the states. Hence, each branch of government, including the delineation of power between state and federal, should perform their function as defined by the Constitution. One of the main responsibilities of the federal government is to protect the nation and the American people. This requires a strong and effective military, capable intelligence services, and a vigorous law enforcement and homeland security capacity. It also mandates an effective and proactive foreign policy that looks after American interests in conjunction with our allies, yet stands resolute against our enemies.